Hey everyone, it's Minnesota Joe. I've got another grab bag from PortsmouthCoinShop.com. It's the $100 mystery coin lot scratch and dent grab bag. They have this on their website. They're currently available. I actually got two of them this time just to save on shipping. So the total, uh, I'll go through all the pricing and every, everything on all the coins and evaluate them and compare them to like eBay or, or whatever I think um, is a good value for these. And uh, let's see. So these are really popular. Obviously, it's very convenient to just go on to Portsmouth, PortsmouthCoinShop.com and, you know, put in um, an order. So uh, you pay a little bit more for that, but I also think you get a great variety. And with the scratch and dent, you get a good value. So with no further delay here, I'll go ahead and open this up and um, let's see what we got. They really package them well. You'll see here that these are sent uh, priority mail, which is great. And they do come in really fast. So I'll take the invoice out. And take a look what we got. I've done several reviews of these coins over the past year and a half and uh, gotten a lot of great feedback. So appreciate your support. And um, yeah, I also want to shout out to Portsmouth Coin Shop and Daniel at Coin Help You. Um, he's been a great resource to me and to the coin community, obviously. We all love him. So here's what we got. All right. These come in $100 lots. As you can see, if you buy them in multiples of 100 um, you'll get a package this way and it's nice that they're all they all come in flips uh and you know there's a good variety here so you'll find some uh, interesting coins all right let's take a look so what i'll do is i'll go through uh each of the items real quickly just to show what they are and then I'll come back um, after I've had some time to research the pricing on them and give you what I think they're worth. Uh, the last time I reviewed one, it was a $200 grab bag and it actually was worth more than $200 in my assessment. Um, you just never know. And, and obviously you pay something by shopping online. So it's not the same as going to an LC, LCS local coin shop. And there's pros and cons and I'll go through that, uh, why you would do that or not. Uh, and you know, I just think it's a lot of fun with these grab bags. <laughs> you don't know what you're getting, right? And so it's kind of fun, um, just kind of leaving it wide open and hopefully get something that's worth close to what you paid for it. All right, so we got the packaging off on the first one, and here we go. So this first one is a uh, Mercury the Beautiful Uncirculated Set 2020 uh, Philadelphia Tall Grass. So MS67, that's nice. MS67, early release. And so that uh, NGC. So that's a, uh, I guess they've got it listed here at $5. Well, oh, they do have the pricing on some of these. That's good. That's a beautiful coin, MS67. Good condition. And it's early, early release. All right, the next item up is a 1964 proof Jefferson nickel. They have that estimated at $5. Here is a war nickel, 35% silver. Here's a barber half, 1908, that's $16. 1908, and here's a 1960 quarter, Washington quarter. They have it at $8, that's a Philadelphia. Here's an Ike, Eisenhower, Eisenhower dollar, 
Uh, I don't. I think that's clad. So that's two dollars. Yeah. Oh, here's a um, a large scent. 1852 Liberty Head, large scent. They put it at twenty dollars. I've had a few of these. This one's in good shape. All right. There's an 1877, this is a, a dime, uh, 1877 Carson City dime. Wow, I haven't actually had any Carson City coins. 1877, so that's listed at $10. It's very worn, but that's a nice coin to have. All right, here is a um, standing Liberty quarter. Uh, the condition is not the best here. You can see the this cone, the, the toning here. Um, I can't tell. The, it looks like a 1927 year. And uh, they have that at, I guess, $7. Here is a 57D Franklin half dollar. Uh, 57D uh, in gem BU. And they listed at $16. That's a really nice... Half dollar fifty seven is a common year, but uh, that's a nice that's a nice coin. Look at the luster on that. All right, two more, and then we got this roll. Um, a nineteen thirty nine Washington quarter. I think it was at eight dollars, and this is a uh, oh a half time eighteen thirty six. Bust, um, half time. Eighteen thirty six, about good. And I'll have to look at the price uh, on that. But eighteen thirty six, it's quite old. All right, and then on the I'm assuming these are nickel or pennies. Just guessing, they're wheat cents. Well, they're steel. So these are the, oh, and there's a combination here of wheat and steel. And some of these are in better condition. There's some newer scents as well. And 1993, 1959. Anyway, so they've got, uh, some of these are wheat here, uh, and otherwise Lincoln Memorial. And the 1943 um, steel scent. All right, um, I'll go on to the second opening. Okay, now for the second opening, the second package. And again, these were $99 each. Um, and they, uh, I, I noted before that it's nice that the packaging comes, they come in flips. And there's usually a really good variety. Some silver, clad, um, a variety of years and different coins. Oh, I've got a piece dollar. So let's do that first, okay? 1923. And that's, let's see if I can tell what that is. Mint mark. It is a Philadelphia. So 1923 Philadelphia. Not in horrible condition, but it's for the scratch and dent. Um, this is better than I would expect. Just got toning on it, but the details are good. Uh, it's worn, but it still has some good detail. 1923 piece. All right, we've got a, uh, a Merc dime. Let's see, that's a 1929. Sacagawea, this is a, I don't see the year on that. I guess it's on the side. Sacagawea, 1959 proof Roosevelt. Good condition. 
1959 Rosebone. And here's a 1963 Roosevelt. And a 1964D Roosevelt dime. All right, and this is 1960 Washington, 1960D Washington MS65 uh, Choice BU by the person that had this before. And here's a clad, uh, let's see what the year is there. 2015 uh, Washington Quarter. And here's a Franklin, a 1952. That's a good year, better date. 1952 Philadelphia. All right, about halfway through here. Here's another work dime. That is, I think it's a 1929, yeah, or 1928 S. Here's a 1935 Buffalo Nickel, in good condition. Here's a 1925, sorry, 21, 1921 Buffalo Nickel. Here's 1908 O Barber Half Dollar. Very worn, but that's a 1908. And they wrote $16 on that. Here's a V Nickel, a 1908 V Nickel. Let's see the back there. Here's a Barber Dime, 1898. And no mint mark, so that's Philadelphia. 1898. Here's a 1927 Standing Liberty Quarter. That one is in good condition. Worn, I guess it is pretty worn, but the shield there has some detail left. And here is a war nickel, 1943 Philadelphia. So that's 35% silver. Here's another one, 1943 Philadelphia. And last but not least is a 1964 Kennedy half dollar, 64D. In good condition, some toning, but otherwise it's in good, con good condition. All right, that's lot number two of the two packages that I purchased. Uh, I will come back with uh, further pricing, give you some more details on that, and I'll summarize whether I found a, a good deal here. So stay tuned. All right, guys. So I, like I said, I went and researched these and, and I think I have good prices here based on sites like eBay. I looked at the sold prices for comparable items and um, somewhere between the middle of, of a high and a low price of what I saw. And uh, also looked at other sites like, or, or uh, references like Redbook. Uh, and uh, I think that gives you a good idea of what you can buy these for uh, primarily online. All right, so this 1939 quarter, uh, I just said, you know, it's common, so, and it's in worn, I guess, good condition. I would just put that at five and a half based on 22 times face. Same thing for this 1960 quarter. Uh, obviously, if you're looking for a 1960 BU quarter, you're going to pay more. But, uh, you know, I think ballpark, again, five and a half dollars is reasonable. Uh, 1957 Franklin, it's Gem BU. Again, if you're looking for this specific coin, you're going to pay more. But if you just happen to, you know, find it on eBay and you want to buy it, uh, they, they had 16 on this. I think I would put this at, if you use 22 times face and maybe add a little bit of premium, you're probably around 11 or 12, maybe $12. Um, and then on the Barber, same thing. You The 1908 I wouldn't think you'd have to pay $16 for this. 
uh, but maybe if you're looking for this special, this specific coin, you would have to pay more. But I would just, again, I would put this at uh, $12. So for those four, uh, let's see, 11 uh, and 11 and then 12, 22, you're already at $34. All right, then on the Ike and uh, the the SLQ quarter, uh, the Ike, I just put a dollar. Uh, and it's a 77 Ike, it's common. You can get these pretty much anywhere. Maybe you'd have to pay a little bit more, obviously. A dollar is what it, the face value. Uh, and then the SLQ is very toned. It's it's a good candidate for the scratch and dent because it's it's really uh, not in the best shape. But it's a 1927. Uh, again, it, the the face the junk silver price be at 22 times would be five and a half. So that's what I would put. All right, and then on the wheat cents and the steel cents, these are BU um, BU uh, cents or wheat cents. And then on the steels, I would just put that whole group at three dollars. Uh, you might pay a little bit more, maybe four dollars. So then the next one, there's three items here that are really old. We got the 1877 Carson City uh, dime. So that's a seated seated Liberty dime. 1877, very old, very worn, <laughs> but you know, they have $10 on here. I think you actually would end up paying more for this. Uh, and they're hard to find uh, a lot of these on eBay, but I did find some that were at around $20, even in this condition. So I would put $20. On the 1836 bust half dime, these are also hard to find. I know it's very worn. They have about, about good here on the rating. So not quite good, right? Uh, but still on, on a half dime, uh, these are on eBay for a selling uh, sold prices at $18. So I have 18 on that. And then lastly on this large scent, same thing I had $18. This is an 1852 Liberty Head large scent. It's in very nice condition, good details. And I love the toning on this, the color, um, kind of a purplish uh, brown toning. So that's beautiful. All right, so I had 18 on that as well, 1852 large scent. All right, then moving on, we've got the 1938D, that's the last year Buffalo, 1938D. I see these on eBay going for around three and a half. Uh, so, and, and this is in good condition, maybe very good condition. So I think that's a good price, three and a half dollars. And then we've got this uh, 2020 Philadelphia tall grass quarter. Uh, it's an NGC Mint State 67, and it's an early release. And I think these are fairly popular right now. Uh, I see some of these on eBay going for twenty dollars, and and that might be on the upper range, but uh, that's basically what the market is asking for right now on these. I took a second look at this uh, tall grass MS sixty seven, and I think it's more in the ballpark of ten dollars. Uh, I, I think the one that I saw was it was not a Philadelphia. There are W's out there. Actually, I saw a W out there for $400 that sold recently at MS67, which is just amazing. West Point uh, tall grass. But these uh, are probably around $10 for the just um, NGC MS67. Uh, and uh, I saw them anywhere from $12 to $18 as well. So $10 might be a little low, but I think that's fair. All right. And then lastly, we've got couple that you got the proof nickel uh, 1964 very nice example of a proof nickel and they have five dollars I would probably have less than that I think on eBay you can buy these for around two dollars and war nickels 
kind of around the same range, maybe a dollar and a half on this war nickel, 1943 common. People love these though, they're very popular uh, on eBay. So, all right, that is it. The total of all of that, I came up with $127. So obviously more than $100. And I thought I was being fairly conservative, I guess, on this guy, you probably wouldn't pay $20 for it, but that's what they have paid for on eBay. So maybe knock that down to 15, uh, you know, and and I mean, I the 90 percenters I just had at, at uh, you know, not much more than, than junk silver for these these guys. Obviously these are the, are the difference. This large scent going for uh, $18, the half dime for 18 and the seeded dime, uh, the Carson City uh, for eight for 20. Uh, you know, you might feel like that's high as well, but they did sell at that price. And, uh, you know, let me know your, your comments on that if you think that's too high. But all in all, you know, you got a, a lot of nice coins here. Um, there's really, you know, the, in the scratch and dent, sometimes you get some real questionable coins, but. I don't, there's only one here that I see that's really questionable and that's this SLQ, which it's still a nice coin. It's just got a toning. So all in all, this package, uh, if you paid $100 for it, you got probably about $125 in value. Let me know your thoughts on that and uh, let's move on to the second package. I did update the prices to reflect uh, that NGC MS67 uh, tall grass that uh, I, I knocked that down to $10. So the total is 117. All right, now we're on to the uh, price estimates for package number two. This is more uh, in line with what I've seen before with uh, the scratch and dent uh, grab bags. There's a wide variety uh, there's a few really nice, valuable ones, and the rest of them are, you know, they're they're decent, but and there's a wide variety, but there's nothing um, too expensive here. All right, so this 1929 Merc dime at 22 times face, I would just put this at two dollars and twenty cents. We got a uh, 2015 Mohawk and Iron Workers Native American dollar. Uh, that one, uh, I'd maybe put $2 on that. Uh, it's somewhere between a dollar and $2. So obviously it's dollar at face. And I would just include the this quarter, a 2015 Washington quarter as well in that. So kind of just including that in it. Okay, 1964 D, Roosevelt, uh, $2.20 at 22 times face. Here we've got a peace dollar, 1923, in decent condition. Uh, this is how you normally find them. They're toned, and um, but it's in good condition. Pretty worn on the reverse there, I guess. And so I had that at uh, $27 for a peace dollar. I think that's fair. Uh, 1963, rosy dime. Again, at 22 times face, so that's 220. Uh, 59 Rosie, this is a proof one, but I still just put it at uh, $2.20. It's a 1960 D quarter at 22 times face, this is uh, $5.50. And a 1952 Merck, uh, sorry, Franklin at uh, $11. Again, at 22 times face, this one's, that's decent, but uh, 50, 54, sorry, 1954 Franklin, Philadelphia, $11 on that. Uh, 1928 S, Merck, again, the same thing, I'd probably put $2.20 on that. The three, the 1935 Buffalo, A dollar on that, and a dollar on the 1925 or 1921 Buffalo. 
Oh, I had actually had this at $4. $4 for that. That's a less common. And the 1928 O Barber half dollar. Pretty worn. 1908 O. I would just say you'd probably be looking at $12 for those. A little bit more because uh, it's a barber. And here we've got a 1898 Barber Dime. I saw these on eBay for $3.50. $3.50. The 1927 SLQ. A little bit over uh, 22 times space. So I guess uh, $6 for this. That's 24 times space. 1964D Kennedy half. I uh, just had $11 on that. The 19, a couple of war nickels, the 1943. I guess these are both Philadelphia. So $1.50 for both of these. 35% silver. $1.50 is probably what you pay. And then last, we have a 1908 Liberty V nickel. Uh, pretty worn. These are pretty common, I think. I would say about $2 for that. So when you add those all up, the total I got was $99.25. Right in that area of $100. A little bit below, obviously. But, uh, you know, a lot of different coins here. Big, big um, you know, difference here. There's a lot of value. There's a lot of variety you got different kinds of half dollars and uh, you got the barber in there which people love a couple of barbers and uh, there's some you know older 1898 uh, 1920 uh, and so they're you know a good variety but there's a lot of newer ones in here too so uh, and and getting a piece dollar is always fun uh, I would just say this is probably uh, you know it's an average value it's not bad not great um, pretty, pretty much in line with what you might expect to get. Nice variety. People love the Merc Dimes, obviously, too. The Mercury Dimes and the War Nickels. So a lot of good, fun things here. Uh, overall, fun package to get, and uh, it's fun to go through this. And a lot of these are coins that I've seen before. I'm sure you have, too. And so um, no surprises. All right. And so that one is at $99.25, just below 100 So I would just rate it as an average value. All right, uh, that pretty much wraps it up. I'd love to hear your comments about the the um, uh, the review and uh, what I came up with for my estimates and uh, what you think of uh, getting these grab bags and your experience, if you've had a good experience with Portsmouth Coin Shop. Huge sh shout out to them. Thank you, uh, Daniel, for all that you do for the coin community on Coin Help You and your YouTube channel. Um, and uh, make sure that you... Uh, Go visit his site and take a look at what he's got. Have you, uh, I'd love to hear if you bought coins from, from Portsmouth Coin Shop before and uh, what was the experience like for you? Again, this is an independent review and I'm not being compensated at all. I just happen to like uh, doing these reviews and uh, sharing them with you. Please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, certainly, if you haven't subscribed before, I'd, I'd uh, ask that you would. I know a lot of you have not subscribed that look at my channel, so please uh, take a second and, and go ahead and do that. I'd love to get that uh, visibility with uh, YouTube. All right, uh, everyone, thanks for watching. I know this has been a long video, so I uh, appreciate your taking a time to look at this and uh, look forward to doing another one of these. Take care and have a great day.